Okay, wait. Here's my hot take on it. Is it scary movie for Marvel? Remember scary movie? Yeah. How they were like making fun of it. It was like so meta. Sure. Is it scary movie, but for Marvel? Uh, in a way, yeah, you can say that. Right? Yeah. Because like my sister was telling me about her coworker who didn't like it, and I'm like, why didn't they like it? And they're like, oh, I was just like, I was wait, I wanted to bet. Like, so she was like, oh, are you a fan though? Do you know all yeah, the that's stuff? A, that's a, like, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. So she was like, no, I've watched all the movies. She's pretty old, so she watched all the movies. She's into like the behind the scenes, um, like the the stuff that we know, like the the contract laws and stuff. Um, she's into that, but she was like, no, I was just expecting a better story. And I was like, no, no, the story didn't really matter, bro. It's it was like, no, there was, there, right? there, like, yeah, yeah. there isn't yeah. a story. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's like, there's like a story, but it's like, well, not, I mean, like, like there's a, a story, but it's not really, I don't think about the story. it's not about, to be about the story. That, yeah. And that was, and that's when I was like, no, it's like, it's like scary movie, but for Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. True. You know, cause it's like, yeah, scary movie had a story, but it's like, it's not about the story, bro. It's about. It's like paying homage to Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So we we both get it. Cause like I was like, if you want a story, go watch something else, bro. Like this is just us watching Ryan Reynolds <laughs> make fun of the universe. Yeah. You know? It's more like a I don't know, roller coaster if you like those sort of things or some other thing like that. It's like it's like a satire though. It's like Yeah, it is, yeah. You make fun of it, you know. But in a way he's telling truth things totally. within that, right? Like to say that the multiverse version after the or the multiverse, uh, multiverse version of the Marvel stories have not been good. Like, that's a right? true statement. <laughs> yeah, I, right. Exactly. It's like um, it, it's like a comedian who wants to tell you the bitter truth, but they sugarcoat it to make it right. like, tolerable. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. we all knew we're like this is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But but like the the interesting part was all the hidden meanings behind everything that was there. Yeah, you would need to have known what's been going on to really understand right. every single thing that was there. Right. Yeah. You, you know what's funny? Like, so I think it's like a millennial movie. So anybody that's like millennial yeah. or boomer, if you if you watched I mean, X-Men. It starts with that song, so of course. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. Uh, full spoilers, so we'll just like throw that out there. Sure. Um, so like the NSYNC song. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's funny because my cousin watched it. He's younger. And I was like, oh, do you, do you love it? Like, whatever. And he's like, yeah, it was good. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you didn't you didn't get it. Because it's like you weren't even born during the first X-Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you right. Know? So right. It's like, you don't we know grew what, up with that. Yeah, that's what we yeah, watched. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Right? So, like, watching and, like, like, like Hugh Jackman. So, remember that whole thing about him wearing the yellow costume? Mm-hmm. So when he was getting signed for the first X-Men movie, he was like, I will not wear a yellow suit. That was in all the interviews, right? And then in this one, he's like, I'm finally putting on the yellow suit because I'm comfortable with this character. He said that in the movie. And I was like, oh, you're, you're, ma- you're paying homage to the fact that you never wanted to wear this. That's right. why they all wore like leather, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. leather suits in the first movie. Because he's like, I don't want to look dumb. Mm-hmm. You know? And like, y- you wouldn't have gotten that. So like, you know, my cousin watching him was like, uh, yeah I, exactly i don't get why you're wearing it yeah you're right <laughs> but i'm like no 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 he said you don't get it it's like a meta movie bro he said that when the first movie came out yeah you know but it's like we don't that, that's why it's like it's really meant for millennials boomers like all those people that really watch yeah. from the beginning <laughs> you know even no no actually even blade even before it, the it, X-Men that was movie, like uh bringing those people back was bringing homage to the whole uh 20th century fox yes yes characters that they did <laughs> totally um okay but before we go to the foxing because i thought that was really interesting i had to like explain i like leaned over to my sister I'm like no you don't understand why the <laughs> fox thing's dead because it's about contracts you know what i mean so like oh right, but before we get into that the um were you with me when we were kids and we watched blade in the movie theater um, we i might have i don't i don't remember okay so <laughs> I because I distinctly remember this because I called the movie theater and like it was a rated R movie and Probably. then I was like I was ten though <laughs> and I was like can can me and my friends come in and then they were like no unless you're accompanied by an adult so I had to like beg my parent like one of my parents to go so my dad's like yeah sure I'll go with you and like I was blown away by this movie I didn't even know it was a Marvel movie at the time I was just like it's a vampire movie yeah 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 right you like yeah I, I, did, no I, didn't know, I didn't know it was Marvel yeah right so like. Growing up with that, I 
I had been seeing like Blade memes recently, but I hadn't watched Deadpool yet, so I didn't realize that there he was going to be in the movie. Yeah, so I, I, was, saw, I, I saw some of your postings. I was like, uh, Did you watch the movie? Did yeah, you see no, something? On I didn't. I didn't, bro. My my whole feed was just like Blade really um, <laughs> like brought back Marvel. I was like, oh yeah, I did. So I like I like bought the movies. Oh, I was like okay. watching all of them. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. And then all these memories started flooding back of like how much I love. Like he was my <laughs> favorite superhero. But it's all right, he wasn't even a superhero to me. It was a vampire movie. I was like, I didn't know it was a card like a comic yeah, yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I really thought it was like vampires, you know, like Buffy. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. cool. It's like, you know, this. And um, and then like realizing he was he was the such a pivotal superhero, I was like, oh, this is definitely like my number one hero. Cause that movie was so like ingrained in my mind. I watched that movie on repeat as a kid over and over because it's so sick like the mm-hmm. martial arts and mm-hmm. stuff and then watching him appear in that movie i was like oh <laughs> that's why you know, you're like okay yeah. that's why the memes kept coming out you know because yeah, 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 somebody yeah. saw like i guess in a thing and then they started to like promote him yeah all right um yeah that was that was really cool but all right, let's go into the, the fox thing when fox is like dead so for people who don't know like it was split like these people have these characters, these people have these characters, mm-hmm. like these studios, remember? Studios, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like um Spider Man came out through Sony. Yeah. They right? the, That's they, why like, they still Toby own Maguire. it. Yeah. yeah, right. Do they still own it? They still own it. That's why okay. I, so in the um in the movie when because they can't say Spider Man or show oh, Spider Man or yeah. uh, Tom Holland. And there was a picture when he was doing the interview with Happy. There was a picture in the back oh. with um, what, like a kid Iron Man mask in front of the framed photo of Robert Downey. And that mask is covering... Oh, um, that's funny. Covering Tom Holland. Tom Holland. But that represents... Uh, what they were saying was like deep dive into that. It's like that mask. I think he was in Iron Man 2. A kid wore that mask and that kid is supposed to be Peter Parker. Oh wow, that's cool. See, like all these little Yeah. And then like him making that web sling sounds but without saying Spider Man. <laughs> it's like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dude, see see that's crazy. Like so Fox was bought up by Marvel. Uh not Marvel. Um Disney d- bought Fox, yeah. D- Disney bought Fox, yeah. So like that's why they could show like human torch, right? Mm-hmm. Like they couldn't use the words before like mutants or things like that. They could not use those words. Oh, Fox or Disney? Uh, Disney. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, they because, had... Because it was owned. Because it was owned by Fox. <laughs> so. Yeah. So the, the, when you saw, like, the dead Fox logo and then um, Deadpool was, like, making fun of it, it's like mm-hmm. this... Like, you had to really understand that this is, like, contracts we're talking about here. And, like, there's all this, like, bureaucracy and, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, like, the the levels that were in this movie cut so deep there's like so much to unpackage yeah, yeah, yeah. like so many rabbit holes yeah know? and so many surprises that i liked uh, i i was like with um you thought it was captain america oh dude that, that was, was so crazy. good that was so well done <laughs> and i didn't expect yeah. him to say flame on <laughs> and then i was like yeah. oh yeah <laughs> yeah a 100 percent. i was like wow they they brought back uh captain america and like even the way he said <laughs> Like he's like that's a superhero yeah, yeah, landing. Like, he's like, oh my god, he's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! He's gonna wait. What? <laughs> you know, like. It was so good. But then you, we all remembered like that was, like my sister didn't even remember that. I was like, <laughs> he played Johnny Storm. That was his first Marvel role. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. but then we were all like, we were all confused. Like, how could he also be Captain America? We totally forgot about it. We yeah, totally yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it was like a Fox thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, the um the the aspect of the contracts for me is just like so telling about how this is all still just a business mm-hmm. at the end of the day you know what i mean and i like that in the multiverse the one good thing out of the multiverse storyline is that we can like make these jokes mm-hmm. and yeah. you can bring these people back because it's like yeah this is the forgotten the like the zone of the forgotten people you mm-hmm. know yeah even the juggernaut one i was like oh yeah that dude i forgot yeah but then I watched, one. yeah, and then I watched Deadpool two recently. It's a different one. Yeah, it's a different one. I was like, oh yeah, they had Juggernaut here too. Yeah, a lot of the people from the original X Men were there too, like the Sabretooth 
That was crazy, bro. Uh, Toad. Um, yeah. Pyro. Or from, I think that's X-Men First Class, I guess. Yeah. 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 yeah even the, the Nightcrawler, the devil version of the Nightcrawler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd remember he was like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, um, like Hugh Jackman being the one when he was like i am the x-man i was like mm-hmm. you are technically because you're the <laughs> one that stayed throughout the whole thing like everyone like came and went you know yeah. but but will there be another wolverine that's the question remember he was like you're gonna play this role to your 90 <laughs> um i mean that's we never know i think that's 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 what that is implying <laughs> maybe true because because they weren't thinking uh of even doing a Deadpool Wolverine, because he oh the thought, the thought was he was officially retired from Wolverine. Um, what's the uh, name? Um, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was just that he, they were about to shelf the story because they like they couldn't figure out a story for Deadpool three. Okay. And that's like out of the blue, Hugh Jackman called and said like, I want to, I want to do this, like do something. He called them. He, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So like that's how it started. I was like, oh okay, that's a good idea. Now we can do Deadpool Wolverine and get that story kind of done. So like it wasn't the original idea wasn't there. Like that there was no Wolverine. Wow, okay. So this whole movie is really because of Hugh Jackman then? In a way, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. Cool. Very, very cool. Hmm. Can there be another Deadpool? Are these the most two iconic <laughs> I don't know how you can. Uh, yeah, you'd have to. Like it, the interaction between the two was that's what made it so good. Like, yeah. Um. Uh, there was a scene where they were arguing in the van, like because Deadpool is nonstop talk, right? Yeah. Where? Uh, because Hugh Jackman's a good actor. Like way he tore down Deadpool, and Deadpool didn't say anything. Like couldn't say yes, anything. yes, yes. That was crazy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. That's, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. yeah, so that's like an interesting dynamic. It's like, <laughs> yeah, facts. But they were always together. Like I remembered that, like in the comics. In the or comics, not, the, the well, yeah, comics. But I didn't really read those. It was the uh, '90s. Um, well, I guess yeah, some comics I, I did read, but it was the '90s Marvel, um, '90s X Men, and they showed like Wolverine and Deadpool together, and then you find out that they're both a part of Weapon X program. Mm-hmm. So, like, they've always been a duo, but this is the first time they've been, like, on camera as a duo yeah, yeah, yeah. together. Well, yeah, except which for the makes, first one, which was not that good. That was not that good, but which is what makes this whole movie so iconic. You're yeah. like, this is the one. Like, I feel... All right, tell me how you feel about this one. I feel like it's, it's like, okay, we're done. Like... As a millennial and like a boomer mm-hmm. levels, it's like, yeah, we can we can stop the train here. Like it was almost like Ryan Reynolds, this this like um Wolverine and Deadpool and Wolverine movie is almost like you guys are good to go now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Anything right. else after this is just gonna be like for the kids now. Mm-hmm. You know? Is is that just me or because everything in there is like tailored to us. Like yeah. no yeah, yeah, to the like, to the older okay. generation. Yeah. Right. And then going forward, it's like Gen Z's and like all that. Mm-hmm. Do you like, so you think it's like a send off too? It's like, we're done? I think so. I mean, it all depends on the money, I think too. <laughs> no, if facts, right. totally, totally. But like, I think we're hitting also a different. I don't know if they want right. to do another one, right? If this is the one. I, I, I don't well, know how you sure. can beat it, right? For for sure, for sure. I'm like a Deadpool movie, but I mean like in terms of Marvel itself, it's like, do I even need to continue watching Marvel? Because they were like because we were already on the fence, you and I, right? You know, we're like, oh, do I really want to see the next one? And then we missed a couple. Mm. And then it was almost like Ryan Reynolds is like, they did suck. You're right. We're good here. And then Yeah, the- there is a I mean, yeah, that th- that's true, but I don't that's why they're bringing back certain actors. Well, okay, we'll actor. talk about one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that one now. Like him coming back, I was like, "This feels a little thirsty." Like, the, the, no, because they right. are, uh, yeah, the, they had to bring him back in order to, uh, 
it's not just them even the russo brothers i think they they were done from after the end game like they they were uh directors and stuff oh, okay. for story and stuff uh in the movies so they they are also coming back is what i heard so oh wow so bringing okay. back people that made it successful yeah because it's not right now <laughs> it's not being as successful as they thought so so after um avengers the last two ones with um thanos we were already you and i were already kind of like uh like if you go back to those podcasts you can hear us both being like i think i'm done with marvel like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we we kept giving it shots and then it was like the miss marvel stuff you're like oh this is a terrible and like she hulk you're like oh it's terrible right it almost to me like even the way deadpool ended with like that that goodbye see like they're showing like behind the scenes footage of like the filming and stuff it really felt like like a goodbye like like the if you wanted the official goodbye like the mm -hmm. you know what it is it's like this it's like when a band plays their last song that was the thanos movies and then when you call the band back for an encore that's what this movie was right you don't do an encore encore mm -hmm. you know what i mean like blink Wayne 2 does that where they'll play like damn it as their last song and then they'll walk off and they'll wait like five minutes and people are cheering and they'll come back on and play one last song. It feels like this was the one last song. Right. 